This is pure and total survival at this point. This is pure survival. Salute to Christy Chris in the building. Miss Gloria. Gloria. Gloria Wilson is in the building. Yes. And we are surviving Gabrielle Union divorcing. Filing for divorce from Dwayne Wade, guys. And this is pure survival. And I'm going to give you guys time to all come in the building. Hey, Jamil, about to catch you live. Yes, you are live and in the flesh. Woman, live and in the flesh. Miss Red is coming in the building. Yes. And you see I got on that all white right now. I got on that all white and I'm feeling all right. You know what I mean? We got to get the people in the building and we got to get those likes up. Because this is pure survival at this point. Now, um, I want to start off by saying, first of all, no matter what anybody say, okay, y'all can judge me all you want, but I'm, I don't have a problem with Dwayne Wade wanting to become a transgender woman, okay? I don't have a problem with that. So I'm letting y'all know right now, I've been said... Uh, Dwayne Wade's uh, son, daughter, Zaya, I had a problem with that. And the thing that I had a, the problem about Dwayne Wade's uh, daughter, son, was because the, the son was too young to make a decision like that. He was too young to say, you know what, Daddy? I don't want no penis no more. Surviving the fact that I don't want my pecker no more. I had a problem with that. But if Dwayne Wade... Dwayne Wade is like 86, 87 years old. If that man wants to get rid of his wing ding, if he don't want his wiener no more, Gabrielle, you, I, I don't feel bad for you. I don't feel bad for Gabrielle, and I don't give a damn who gets mad at me for it. This is pure survival at this point. How are you going to eat this man's butt like groceries and then get mad because the man wants to become a transgender woman. Dwayne Wade is 80 some, 86, 87 years old. The man is not in the NBA no more. He retired. Gabrielle, what did you think that he was going to want? You bragged about eating his butthole. You bragged about all of that stuff and how freaky and nasty you could be for Dwayne. So now Dwayne wants to become a full-blown Caitlyn Jenner. And now you mad about it. And I don't feel bad for you. You know what I mean? And if you think about trying to divorce him, you already got money. You know what I mean? I knew that this was coming, Gabrielle. Like, who didn't know that this was coming? Dwayne Wade's been running around wearing better dresses than little Nas X. You know what I'm saying? This is pure survival at this point. You know what I mean? Anytime Dwayne Wade is sneaking behind your back, Gabrielle, and he's banging and listening to Little Nas X while he takes showers and stuff like that, he's wearing dresses, sneaking and stealing your thongs. Yes, yeah, stealing your thongs, the thong, thong, thongs. Wearing them. What did you think was going to happen? This is pure survival at this point. Dwayne Wade was so supportive about his, his son, daughter. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not being mean to Zaya. I'm not being mean to Zaya. You know what I'm saying? The world already know that Dwayne Wade's son became his little daughter. Okay? I'm already over that. But the whole thing is, Gabrielle, you ran around prancing and praising the fact that little Zaya was about to cut his wiener off. And then now Dwayne Wade don't want his pecker no more. He don't want his pecker no more. This is pure survival at this point. You know what I'm saying? You knew that Dwayne Wade went both ways. You knew that he went both ways. So now you pissed off, going crazy, talking about filing for divorce. I'm going to wait to see this happen. Okay, I'm going to wait to see this happen. That's why I'm going to let y'all know, allegedly, um, Gabrielle Union just went and filed for divorce early this morning. This is breaking news, goddammit. And I want to see it happen. 
And I want to see all the people come out talking about, oh, Gabrielle, we feel bad for you. Dwayne ain't shit. You took Dwayne back when he went and had a baby, goddammit. Surviving the fact that you took him back when he went and got a baby. He went and had a baby and you turned around and ate his booty like groceries. You know what I'm saying? And when you eat a man's booty like groceries, like I said, it's a certain butt nerve. It's a certain butt nerve that'll let you know, ah, if you lick it right there, ah, he either going to go that way or he going to go that way. God damn it. And Gabrielle Dwayne went that way. And I've been told y'all, I got my butt ate, but I never went that way. I went that way. When I got my butt ate, I was like, ah, oh, God damn, baby, that feel good. But I didn't want to go. I wanted a woman to eat my behind. You know what I'm saying? This is pure survival at this point. So now Gabrielle Union is outraged because uh, Dwayne Wade just announced, you know what I'm saying, public. I was looking for it everywhere. I guess the man said that he, he's about to be a transgender woman. He about to be a transgender woman. He said he was wearing dresses at the age of two years old. Dwayne Wade was wearing dresses allegedly at two years old. What man? Has a boy. Every man wants a son, at least. You know what I mean? Like, I love my daughters and everything, but you want a boy one day to have a junior. You want a junior bacon when you go to Burger King. No, I don't want the number six. Give me the number two. I want the junior bacon. You want a junior bacon. You want a son. You want a boy to be just like you. And guess what Dwayne wanted? He wanted Zaya. He wanted his son to become a little girl. Now it makes me understand why he was so supportive. Dwayne Wade was trying to live out his dreams, his sexuality through his child. Surviving the fact that Dwayne Wade was trying to live out his sexuality through his child. This is pure survival, Gabrielle. You and your bougie self need to understand that the man want a boyfriend. You know what I mean? Caitlyn Jenner did it. Caitlyn Jenner did it, and look what Kim Kardashian mother did. She went and got a little black boy. She went and got a young black boy, took him to the Grammys, made him a superstar. You know what I'm saying? So, Gabrielle Union, you're going to have to go get you a little white boy. Go get you a little white boy. You will go viral. You know what I'm saying? Kim Kardashian's mother, I forget the Miss Kardashian name, but she went and got her a little black boy. You know what I'm saying? I just seen him walking at the grand, at one of them award shows. That motherfucker was happy as shit. He's like, I don't give a fuck that Kim Kardashian's mother is 1,300 and something years old. I don't care. When she roll over and die, I'm getting all this motherfucking money. You know what I mean? Surviving the fact that Kim Kardashian, her money, when she roll over in her grave, that little black boy going to get that cash? This is pure survival at this Damn, I hate when a motherfucker call me when I'm live. <laughs> if they try to call me again, guys, I'm going to push them out. I'm going to hit the motherfucker send button. You know what I mean? Because I'm hoping that I didn't turn Japanese. I'm hoping that my voice didn't turn Japanese. Because when somebody call you, it'll have me looking like, like my, my mouth ain't matching my words. I cannot stand this shit. You know what I mean? I told this renaissance to stop calling my fucking phone. I don't want nothing no more. I done called Aaron's. Renner Center, I don't want you no more. God damn it. This is pure survival. We are surviving the fact that Renner Center is literally trying to call my phone right now when I don't want you no more. God damn it. I went to Aaron's. This is pure survival. I like their bedroom set better than y'all's. God damn it. Surviving the fact that I like Aaron's furniture better than Renner Center. This is pure survival. And I'm getting rent to own. Y'all can laugh all y'all want, but I'm getting rent to own. They said in six months, I could own that motherfucker. This is pure survival at this point. God damn it. But no, I don't feel bad for Gabrielle. I just don't. She can sit there and cry all she want. Dwayne Wade been coming out, getting his fingernails done, getting his toes done. Like, I'm not talking about clear uh, polish. I'm talking about the all kinds of Easter colors. The motherfucker got pink nails, red nails, got his hair look like a, a damn water ice. His hair look like a goddamn water ice, Gabrielle. You know what I mean? And your bougie like, see, you can't act bougie with Dwayne. He already know. Like, a woman can never act bougie with me if I know that you done ate my butt before. I ain't going front. See, I'm grown now. I'm a, I'm a grown man, so I'm not... I'm not disrespectful, <laughs> but back when I was a young dude, like I'm talking about 19, 20 years old, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember my one childhood girlfriend, she ate my butt one time, right? And then called herself trying to cheat on me with her ex. You know what I'm saying? We got into an argument outside. And I'm like, nigga, you know, that's why the girl you kissing right now, that girl right there, you kissing my behind, motherfucker. Like, I used to be petty like that. Yeah, you kiss her, you kissing my behind. <laughs> this is pure survival. Surviving the fact that he kissing my behind. <laughs> But I change, y'all. Like, I'm, I am change. I'm not that person no more. But all I'm just saying is, y'all got to smash that like button. Gabrielle Union files for divorce. Allegedly, she went and filed for divorce this morning. But tell me how many people did not see this coming. What made you think Dwayne Wade was going to keep forcing his do son, daughter, like, you know what I mean? Didn't tell his son, hey, look, just wait till you get older before you want to get rid of your pecker. Do you want to get some Regina first? Because Regina's some good Regina out there, guys. It's some bad motherfucker coochie out there, too. I'm, you know what I mean? But I haven't had a, a no, no bad coochie since my early 20s. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you try to put some, some old coochie on me like that, that's not good, I'm going to look at you like you crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, how dare you give me some bad Regina? You knew it was bad Regina before you gave that motherfucker to me. Then got a nerve to look at me like you want me to eat it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll go get a spoon out the kitchen. Here, you eat that motherfucker. You smell that shit? <laughs> you know what I mean? This is pure survival at this point. But my thing is, a child supposed to wait till you get older before you can make that kind of decision. Before you can make that kind of decision. But I must support Dwayne Wade because he's 86 or 87 years old. You know what I mean? I must support him. I don't have a problem with a grown man. Shout out to the LBG community. Shout out to y'all. I don't want y'all to think I got nothing against y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is pure survival at this point. And people don't understand when I say pure survival, like how I really literally be, be surviving. Like I, I literally be surviving because every time I turn around with these in Hollywood, it's always some crazy shit going on, guys. You know what I'm saying? And Gabrielle Union is having a whole fit when you saw Dwayne trying to live out his childhood through Sire. He was trying to live out his childhood through Sire. Surviving the fact that he was trying to live out his childhood through Sire? This is pure survival, Gabriel. Gabriel, you got to think about all the basketball players that he played with. All the basketball players that he played with. Do you understand if I was on Dwayne's team, I'm going to go back in my mind like, wow, the time he slapped me in the ass and said, good game. The time that Dwayne slapped me in the ass and said, good game. He was really trying to flirt with me. He was really flirting with me. He really got off on slapping my ass, telling me it was a good game. This is pure survival at this point. Gabrielle, you know what I'm saying? So you need to take that little snotty, little bougie attitude that you be having in the motherfucking movies and tell Dwayne, listen, we just, if, if Dwayne wants to be a transgender woman, <clears throat> he's a grown man. Oh, damn, I got a potato chip coming out. He's a grown man, Gabrielle. And you was being freaky. Having them freaky P. Diddy, them Diddy Glover parties at your house. Letting the man, you know what I'm saying, have sexual relations allegedly with other men and you knew about it. Now you upset that he want to go full-blown transgender woman. You know what I'm saying? And Dwayne Wade, like how do you know, Gabrielle, he not going to still keep the pecker? He may still keep the pecker. You know what I mean? I think they should be able to have, like, do they got, like, some kind of transgender machine where they can let you keep the pecker on this side and put the vagina on this side? Matter of fact, he keep the pecker in the middle, and then he can get two vaginas on the side. You know what I mean? No, nah, your dick and balls would just be, like, all right, your dick is here, and then your balls is on the each side. Imagine if Dwayne get a coochie right here and then get a coochie right here and still have his pecker. This is pure survival, Gabrielle. You got to learn how to work together. You know what I'm saying? But Dwayne Wade's been screaming and, and, and crying out to America, crying out to us all, saying that he just wants to come out the closet. He just wants to be free. Surviving the fact that Dwayne Wade wants to be free. Who wants to stick and stay in a goddamn closet, hot in a motherfucker? You moving around, just having all kinds of gay thoughts and all kinds of, you know, sexuality moves and things like that going on in that one little closet. The motherfucker had to come out, Gabrielle. You should have known that it was coming. 
That's why nobody should be surprised and nobody should have nothing against motherfucking uh, Dwayne Wade. If Dwayne Wade wants to be a trans woman, I support you, Dwayne, because you are a grown man. You are a grown man. Only thing that I did not support, I don't believe a kid should have the power or the right to be able to, to, to make a decision like that. This is pure survival. But if you're a grown adult and your woman been eating your behind and letting you do all kinds of freaky stuff, seeing you wear all kinds of dresses and purses and, and all that shit and then painting your nails and everything like that, you should have known it was coming. He was screaming out loud to the world, Craig. I'm not talking about the city, Craig. I'm talking about the world. Surviving the fact that Dwayne Wade been screaming out to the world. Only people that should be affected by this is all his, his NBA players. All the people that played with Dwayne Wade and he slapped their ass, told them good game. Now they can go file for sexual harassment or something. Because now that they know that that was a sex act, that that was a sex act. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, Dwayne Wade, you've been trying to come out, Gabrielle, and it's all your fault. To me, you was the one turning Dwayne out. Dwayne ain't start acting all fruit cocktail until he got with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hear it. And you thought it was going, you, it backfired on you. You thought, okay, you can do your little fruity stuff, but just do it with me in the house. You didn't think that he was going to get want to get rid of his, his wiener. You didn't think he was going to want to get rid of his wiener. You know what I'm saying? This is pure survival at this point. Gabriel! But there's plenty of wieners out there, Gabby. It's plenty of wieners that will love to stick it in your bonds. You know what I'm saying? You just need to get over it. You need to get over it. But shout out to Nino Brown, because everybody try to get mad at Nino Brown, because Nino Brown be keeping it real. Nino Brown was telling us weeks ago. He was telling us weeks ago that, that Dwayne Wade was going to come out. And he literally came out. Shout out to Nino Brown. Nino Brown, you called it, dude. You called it. You got the crown, Nino. You got the crown. Surviving the fact that you got the crown. Shout out to Nino Brown. Nino Brown said that Dwayne was going to come out. I ain't got nothing he against said that. men wanting to be women. But if all y'all men want to be women, what the women going to do? Gabrielle Union has transitioned Dwayne Wade into a full-blown citizen. Dwayne Wade has come out the closet. Dwayne Wade has transitioned to a tranny, to a sissy, to a girl. Dwayne Wade has been delivered. Dwayne Wade is probably the most dominant NBA player that was number three in NBA history. But he done went from dominant to dominant. He you hear that? Dwayne Wade went from dominant, uh, dominant to Dominique. He went from dominant to, to Dominique. This is pure survival, Gabrielle. You know what I mean? So you can't get upset. Go ahead and file for divorce. All I'm going to do is react to it. All I'm going to do is react to it. I don't even think Dwayne's going to give a damn. Surviving the fact that Dwayne's not going to give a damn. If he wants to be a girl, he wants to be a woman, let him be a woman. So then he can stop trying to live it through his, his son daughter. You know what I mean? Because his son daughter already made a decision. His son daughter already made a decision. When anytime Dwayne Wade was going out, instead of buying stuff for a boy, he was buying stuff for a girl, living through his child. Now he don't gotta fake it to make it. He's not in the locker room with the basketball players no more, sexually harassing them and sexually assaulting them. You know what I mean? Giving him high fives with butt, with his hand smelling like butt. Giving him high fives. You know what I mean? You got to smell your hand after you get a high five. Oh, shit. Dwayne gave me a high five. Mm, smell that. That's a high five from Dwayne. You know what I'm saying? The man wants to just come out. And you just need to let him do his thing. You know? You the one that was all for it. That's why I can't, yo, y'all got to smash that like button, guys. We got a thousand motherfuckers in the building, and Gabrielle Union is outraged, and she done went and filed for divorce this morning. Either she filed for it this morning, or she announced it, or whatever the case may be, but I think that is funny, and I'm not going to lie to you, because if you know that you got a man that send us some freaky stuff, and you let him go to Diddy Glover's house. You let him go to D Diddy Glover's house. If you leave your man alone with P. Diddy, then you know what's going down. Surviving the fact that you know what's going down. 
You know what I'm saying? You go to Diddy Glover's house, I've been told y'all about the gay vampires. The butt naked gay vampires is upside down in Diddy's house, in the living room. They sit up there like this. You gotta have garlic on your neck. If you don't get down like that, you gotta have garlic. You gotta dangle the garlic so the gay vampires don't pull you up in the air and then fuck you in the mouth. You know what I mean? This is pure survival at this point. You gotta have garlic when you go to Diddy Glover's house. Dwayne Wade never had garlic on his neck. He never had garlic. You know what I mean? He was living out his fantasy. He was living out his fantasy. Surviving the fact that he was living out his fantasy. You know what I mean? This is pure survival, Gabrielle. You know what I mean? But I got to give it to Dwayne, I mean, to, to, to Nino. Because Nino said that you was turning over. You was turning the leak. You was turning the butt cheek. And you did it. Shout out to you, Dwayne Wave. Give me a, a, a funky high five. Give me a funky high five, Dwayne. I'm not mad at you, dude, because you are a grown adult. If you like boys, if you if you if you got a boyfriend and your boyfriend got a boyfriend, Dwayne, shout out to you, dude, because you've been fighting it for the longest. You ran running around doing the runways and the dresses and all that shit. Now you don't gotta fight no more. Put down the basketball and put up pick up a set of balls, Dwayne. Dwayne said, fuck it, I don't want the basketball. I want his balls in my mouth. I want him to teabag me. Gary, I don't want you no more. You keep that taco meat over that way. I want some balls in my mouth. This is pure survival at this point. We are surviving the fact that Dwayne Wade wants a pecker inside of him instead of Gabrielle. That probably messed up your whole self-esteem. You ain't going to be able to act bougie in the not one other motherfucker movie. Gabrielle going to be like, look, I don't want to play a bougie bitch. I don't want to play a bougie bitch no more. I done had a man leave me and turn full-blown woman on me. God damn, my motherfucker pussy is that terrible. A motherfucker just said, fuck it, I got some of that pussy. I want to be a, I want to be a goddamn woman now. I done got some of Gabrielle's vagina now. I want to be a woman. <laughs> ain't this some shit? I know that's that'll fuck you up. I ain't gonna front. I, you know, like if my woman said, "Look, she come home and be like, baby, I want to be a boy now." I'll be looking at her like, "What the fuck?" Oh yes, I want to be a, a boy, <laughs> and I want to. You know what I mean? I'm gonna feel like it's my fault. I'm like, God damn, as good as this dingling I got swinging from my motherfucking legs, you gonna want some Regina? <laughs> and I know my penis is good. I don't give a fuck. And I don't, I'm not bragging about that. But how I know? Because I had a woman get me locked up before. I had a woman get me locked up before when I was on state parole. That's how you know you got some good penis. <laughs> you got some good penis. If a female tear up your car or start destroying your shit, and, and, I mean, the, that's how you know. Like, God damn, my dick good. She done went and called my parole officer. That's how I know my dick good. God damn it. Got her going crazy trying to get me locked up. Talking about, look, if I can't have that penis, nobody can. <laughs> this is pure survival at this point. But like I said, shout out to Dwayne, I mean, to, uh, to motherfucking Nino Brown, because he said it first that Dwayne was going to come out. And Gabrielle, I'm just laughing at you because you supported it the whole time so I don't feel bad for you. Honey, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I don't. I tell you so. I, I, I ain't got nothing against you men wanting to be women. The Wayne Wade into a full blown sissy. The Wayne Wade has come out the closet. The Wayne Wade has transitioned to a tranny, to a sissy, to a girl. The Wayne Wade has been delivered. The Wayne Wade is probably the most. Dominant NBA player that went number three in NBA history. But he done went from dominant to dominique. He retired from the game of basketball and became a tall, big butt boy. Gabrielle Union is the black Kim Contrast that has never been able to keep a man and can't give birth to a child. So somehow she done become bitter, right? Nobody wants her 51 year old ass. See, and Nino Brown said, don't nobody want you. Want you. He said, nobody wants you. You know what I'm saying? And now you're mad, you're mad and this is why you, you, you lashing out. This is why you lashing out. And I'm so sorry if my, my voice is going Chinese because Renna Center keep calling me. This is how I know they thirsty. Like I said, I went to errands. I went to errands. Why is Renna Center blowing me up while I'm on live? You know what I mean? Like, this is how I know that y'all thirsty. Y'all thirsty for the money that bad? God damn, I said that I don't want you, god damn it. Surviving the fact that I don't want Renner said I, I'm going to, I'm with the errands, god damn it. They coming to bring my shit this Thursday. I don't want you, motherfuckers. Y'all calling me while I'm on live, god damn it. 
this is pure survival at this point. You know what I mean? But like I said, I'm trying to give a shout out to Nino Brown because Nino Brown called it first. He said this first. You know what I mean? I cannot front. You know? Oh, Kim Co Show. Salute to Miss Kim Co and the Kim Co Show. This is pure survival. If that's a Kim Co Show, guys, go subscribe to her channel. Because 9 out of 10, the woman got a show and it's, you can tell she good people. She just hit that super chat. So you can tell she good peoples. You dig me? This is pure survival at this point, guys. Miss Queen Lady acting the building. Oh, see, look, you put that up there nights. You know what I mean? Salute Jamil and the Mods in the chat. You know what I mean? Miss Queen Lady coming here representing the West Coast with that good ranch. And she got great content, too. You know what I mean? And she a whole entertainer all around the board. Sing, rap, motherfucking everything. Act. Shout out to Queen Lady, man. But Dwayne, if this is what you've been fighting for, if this is what you've been fighting for, and you've been trying to... Oh, Miss Pen Laginko, SM, where you been all my life? Miss Pen Laginko, where you been all my life? Where you been all my life, woman? Oh, my God. Salute to Miss Pen Laginko. Just hit that super chat. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you one. You know what I mean? But I can't feel bad for, for uh, Gabrielle. I just can't feel bad. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Nino, you got to do it one more time for me, Nino. Because you called it. Nino Brown called it first. He called it. Let me tell you something. I, I ain't got nothing against you men wanting to be women. But if all y'all men want to be women, what the women going to do? Gabrielle Union has transitioned Dwayne Wade into a full-blown citizen. Dwayne Wade has come out the closet. Dwayne Wade has transitioned to a tranny, to a citizen, to a girl. Dwayne Wade has been delivered. Dwayne Wade is probably the most dominant NBA player that went number three in NBA history. But he done went from dominant to dominique. He retired from the game of basketball and became a tall, big butt boy. Gabrielle Union is the black Kim Contrast that has never been able to keep a man and can't give birth to a child. So somehow she don't become bitter, right? Nobody want her 51 year old anus. And somehow she done ran down here to Miami and run into Miami Heat, Dwayne Wade, and put his ass up on the witch trail. Dwayne Wade is 41 years old. Gabrielle Union is 51 years old. So she is definitely the influencer in their marriage. And with that influence, she done convinced Dwayne Wade to turn into a full-blown sissy. Dwayne Wade now paints his fingernails, he wear purses, and he even wear goddamn blouses. I've seen him on a few occasions wearing the open blouse. Yeah, that's the Wayne Way. The Wayne Way just did a photo shoot for GQ. Check this shit out. Look at his goddamn old time roll, Lil Nas X, big tall head and the Wayne Way. That's who he is. Look at that nigga, man. Stay. We must meditate. We must meditate, guys. This is pure survival. We must meditate. She always made a way from heart and strong. And all she does is throws it back to me. Spent a lifetime looking for someone. Don't try to understand me. Don't try to understand, Dwayne. Do the things I say to Gabrielle. Girl, it's a feeling with it when I want it. Cause I'm on fire. Quench my desire. Give it when I want it. Talk to me, Gabri. Give it to me. Give it to me. You need to give it to Dwayne. You need to give it to Dwayne. This is pure survival at this point. You need to give it to Dwayne. You know what I'm saying? Girl, it's a feeling. Give it when I want it. Cause I'm on fire. Quench my desire. Talk to me, baby. Give in to me. You need to give in to, to Dwayne. This is pure survival. You already gave in to him. Let him do what he wanted to do. He went on Ellen. Shout out to Ellen. But I knew when he went on the Ellen show and he told Ellen, 
that his son daughter came home and said, Daddy, I don't want to be called whatever name I was before. You are going to call me Zaya, goddammit. And that grown-ass man didn't turn around and look at his little nine-year-old, eight-year-old boy and say, if you don't go sit your ass in the fucking road, who the fuck is Zaya? You in there talking to ghosts? You know what I'm saying? No, he said, I'm going to be very supportive. You can be Zaya. You can be Zaya. Because Dwayne was really Zaya the whole time. God damn it. This is pure survival. And like I said, shout out to Ellen. No offense to Ellen. Because y'all know Ellen, you know what I'm saying? She's a... You know what I mean? She and the women. So, of course, she going to be very, 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 very supportive. You know what I mean? But I knew when Dwayne went and did that, that was it. That was the icing on the butt cheeks. That was the icing on the butt cheeks when, when he did that. That was the icing on the butt cheeks. Like, I knew for a fact. I said, okay, Dwayne wants to get glazed. Dwayne wants a motherfucker to glaze. Being here. That was a clip D from Dwayne me. wants a man to glaze his donut. <laughs> he wants somebody to glaze his donut hole. Gabriel, <laughs> this is pure survival at this point. Thanks for being here. That was a clip from the ESPN docu documentary. And um, first of all, I just, I think it's what every, you know, every parent should be is what you're being right now, which is, unconditionally loving your child and supporting you. your child in whoever they are. I mean, that's, there are so many parents that are just, oh, you're not going the way I imagined or wanted you to be and freak out. And you're so loving and supportive of Zaya and, and what a special child she is. Yes, she is. She is. Thank you so much for that. Um, first of all, me and my wife. And you see how Ellen said that? <laughs> Ellen act like Zaya was never a boy once before. She act like Zaya was never a boy once before. She said, oh, Zaya is such a, 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 a wonderful little girl. It's still a boy at the end of the damn day. But look how Ellen said, oh, she's such a wonderful little boy. And Dwayne was like, oh, yes, she is. You know how hard it would be? Like if my son told me that he wanted to be a girl and I'm like, how long, how long is it going to take me to like... His, my son's name is Jalil, so I would have to call him Jamila. But I got a daughter named Jamila already. So I might have to call him Janika or something like that. You know how long it's going to take me to start calling my son Janika? It's going to take me forever. It's going to take me long to try to... It's like Dwayne already had it already figured out. Like he already went and talked to Zaya and then made up this fucking story. You know what I mean? And Gabrielle just didn't know. This is crazy. It's too right natural. Now, which is unconditionally loving your child and supporting you. your child and whoever they are. I mean, that's, there are so many parents that are just, oh, you're not going the way I imagined or wanted you to be and freak out and you're so loving and supportive of Zaya and, and what a special child she is. Yes, yeah, she is, she is. Thank you so much for that. Y'all heard that? What a special child she is. And he like, yes, she is, yes, she is. Like, what a special child she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. And, hey, I mean, this is his child. I'm not, you know what I mean? But, like, that was just too natural. Like, this is from the beginning. So, you know, Dwayne already had this stuff in his closet ready to come out. And I believe Zaya probably turned the way she turned. Like, Dwayne had time to make Zaya go sit down and, and look, you're going to be a boy first. And then when you're 18, 21, then you could be a girl. But he never, he never tried to fight back at it. He just was like, all right, you know what? We're going to go. We're going to get the surgery done. We're going to get rid of your little pecker. And later on in life, I'm going to get rid of mine too, Zaya. I'm going to get rid of mine too. I'm just going to wait for the world. To, I'm going to wait till I'm done with the NBA so I can keep on slapping these uh, my players in the ass while we play. Tell them good game. But uh, later on in life, I'm cutting my pecker too. I'm cutting my pecker too. <laughs> this is crazy. So loving and supportive of Zaya, and and what a special child she is. Yes, yeah, she is. She is. Thank you so much for that. Um, first of all, me and my wife, my wife Gabrielle um, Union, we are we are proud. When I say proud, we are proud parents um, of a child in the LGBTQ plus um, community, and we're proud allies as well. Um, and we we take our, our roles and our responsibility as parents very seriously. Um, so when, I, when our child comes home with a, a question, when our child comes home with an issue, when our child comes home with anything, it's our job as parents to listen to that, to give them the best information that we can, the best feedback that we can. Um, and that doesn't change because sexuality is now involved in it. So once Zaya, 12-year-old, came home um, and 
first Zion, everybody, I don't know if everyone knows, originally named Zion, Zion born um, as a boy, came home and said, hey, uh, so I want to talk to you guys. Um, you know, I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth. And I want to be uh, referenced as she and her. Uh, I would love for you guys to call me Zaya. Now, you see that? Now, Dwayne, this is what Dwayne wanted to do. From the door, I don't care what nobody say. Shout out to the 2,000 people in the building. Dwayne is the one who really wanted to change and get rid of his wiener. He wanted to cut his wiener off from the door. You know what I mean? This is pure survival at this point. He talking about Zaya came home and just said, I want to be called Zaya and y'all better not call me nothing else again. First of all, that's some spoiled ass shit. Secondly, it's psychotic as hell. I never came home from school and was able to tell my mom no shit like that. You know what I mean? I would come home from school and try to take the, the, the plug out of the phone because I know that the principal or my teacher is going to call and tell what the fuck I was doing. This is pure survival. How many of y'all? It's 2,100 people in the building. How many people came home and said, Mommy, I want to get rid of my pecker. Surviving the fact that I want to get rid of my pecker. This is pure survival. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't even probably have lights on at my house when I came home. I used to have to turn the switch on just to make sure the electricity was still on. I couldn't even see my pecker, or let alone get that motherfucker taken off. But you just did not care that your son wanted to get rid of his wiener. That's because you wanted to get rid of yours, uh, Dwayne. This is pure survival. So that's why I can't feel bad for Gabrielle. Surviving the fact that I can't feel bad for Gabrielle. Because Gabrielle, you was the one all for it. He even just said it right here. He told Ellen. He said, Ellen, me and Gabrielle, we, we loving this. We getting rid of my son's wiener, and we are just supporting him, and we just everything else. Now, Gabrielle running around, I want a divorce. I'm done, Dwayne. I'm not licking your butt no more because you want to be a full-blown Caitlyn Jenner out here. You know what I mean? And shout out to the LBG community. I don't, I don't want y'all to be mad at me because, I, like I said, shout out to the LBG community. There's nothing against y'all. I'm yelling at Gabrielle right now because I'm supporting Dwayne. Dwayne is 80-something years old. He's a grown man. If he want to get rid of his wiener, then he can get rid of his wiener. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just letting y'all know that I've been seeing this coming. I've been seeing this coming. A man, a grown man like that is not going to be painting his motherfucking nails pink, gray, and Easter egg colors all fucking day, wearing all these motherfucking dresses and purses and shit like that, walking down walkways and stuff. he has been trying to come out. he has been trying to come out. Let him free, Gabriel! Surviving the fact that you need to let the man just go and be free? This is pure survival at this point. Union, we are we are proud. When I say proud, we are proud parents um, of a child in the LGBTQ plus um, community, and we're proud allies as well. Um, and we we take our, our roles and our responsibility as parents very seriously. Um, so when I when our child comes home with a question, when our child comes home with an issue, when our child comes home with anything, it's our job as parents to listen to that, to give them the best information that we can, the best feedback that we can. Um, and that doesn't change because sexuality is now involved in it. So once Zaya, 12-year-old, came home, um, and first Zion, everybody, I don't know if everyone knows, originally named Zion, Zion born um, as a boy, came home and said, hey, uh, so I want to talk to you guys. Um, you know, I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth. And I want to be uh, referenced as she and her. Uh, I would love for you guys to call me Zaya. And so internally, now is our job to, one, go out and get information, to reach out to every relationship that we have. My wife reached out to the, the uh, cast. And he said, when his son came home and said that he want to be referred as Zaya, you know what I mean? I guess his name was Zaire before. Listen, we got 2,000 people in the building, guys. Y'all got to smash that like button. This is pure survival at this point. You got to smash that like button. It can't be 2,000 motherfuckers in here with a little ass bit of likes. This is pure survival over here. You know what I'm saying? Don't piss me off. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the man said that we had to do some research. We had to do some homework when, when he said he wanted to be a boy. When, when Zaya said that he wants to become a girl, he had to do some research. Like you get on Google, okay, uh, my son wants to eat some pecker when he gets older. He want to eat penis. 
How, what did you Google to find out, hey, my son came home and said that he wants to be called uh, Tamika. He want to be called Tamika. You talking about you had to do some research. What research did you have to do to Wayne? Surviving the fact that you know damn well you didn't have to do no research. Only thing you had to know is that your son wanted to get his cheeks clapped by a boy, God damn it. It ain't no research. It's just in and out. Funky monkey. That's all it was. It ain't nothing you got to Google. You know what I'm talking about? And you probably got all kinds of different, you know, LBG, shout out, shout out to the community, uh, porn already. So you know you ain't had to Google nothing. Dwayne, you knew what it was. You know what I mean? You probably sitting there in front of Ellen with penis on your breath right now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm supporting Dwayne because the man's been like screaming out for help. Trapped into the motherfucking closet like the panic room. You know what I mean? And Gabrielle was supporting him. And Gabrielle was bragging about eating his butt. And the man got turned out. The man, the man got turned out. And he can't take it no more. Just like Caitlyn Jenner. You know what I mean? So the man came out. This is pure survival at this point. You know what I'm talking about? I told you long ago, can't you so? Thought I want to let you know. I told you long ago, can't you so? Thought I'd really let you know. Ain't that how Lil Nas X song is? I told you long ago, can't you so? Thought I wanted to let you know. <laughs> this is pure survival at this point. You know what I mean? Um, as a boy, came home and said, hey, uh, so I want to talk to you guys. Um, you know, I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth. And I want to be uh, referenced as she and her. Uh, I would love for you guys to call me Zaya. And so internally, now is our job to, one, go out and get information, to reach out to every relationship that we have. My wife reached out to everybody on the, the uh, <laughs> cast of Pose. Um, we're just trying to figure out as much information we can to make sure that we give our child the best opportunity to be, you know, her best self. Yeah, I mean, I would think that it's one thing. It's one thing. And you know what's interesting about what Dwayne just said? <laughs> you wanted to reach out to everybody else for Zaya, but Zaya's mother was pissed off that y'all even made that decision. And Gabrielle didn't care that Zaya's mother didn't even want uh, Zaya to um, become... A uh, uh, woman, like a, a, a little little boy, girl. Zaya's mother wasn't even; she didn't approve of it. So Dwayne sitting here talking about he reached out to everybody else, but did you reach out to his actual mother? Surviving the fact that you didn't even reach out to his mother, cause his mother was pissed. She was disgraced that you did that, Dwayne. You know what I mean? And you did it for you. That's just, just pure survival at this point. You said when you was two years old, you used to be wearing dresses and things like that. You said it, Dwayne. But I'm not mad at you, Dwayne, because you've been fighting it. Do you know what I mean? All this time. And y'all got to think about Dwayne. How many times that he went to the swimming pool? How many times that Dwayne probably was in a swimming pool with Gabrielle, but fighting the fact that he's looking at men's thighs and, and looking at men's uh, uh, pecker prints, looking at men's uh, penis pics and sweatpants, things like that. This is pure survival at this point. You know what I'm talking about? And shout out to Bomb First, because <laughs> you see me over here bombing. Shout out to Bomb First. I watch you, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is pure survival at this point. You know what I'm saying? But that's my whole thing, guys, that... um. Gabrielle, all this complaining and crying and shit, I don't want to hear it. So if you really are going to divorce this man, then do it. Surviving the fact that I don't give a damn and I can't wait to react to it because it's funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? The man has been crying and screaming to be free. Let that man free. Like how they freed the slaves. You need to let Dwayne free. Yeah, I'm talking about we need to get some free Dwayne Wade t-shirts. <laughs> Cause the man is 80 something, 86, 87 years old. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't mind. Like, if a grown person wants to be whatever, I don't care about your sexuality. I am just saying that if Gabrielle Union allegedly, god damn it, filing for divorce, this is how I feel. You supported the son turning into the daughter. Dwayne Wade's been giving up every sign in the book. You know what I'm talking about? He ain't been drinking from the cups. He drinking straws. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Drinking straws in front of you. When a motherfucker drinking 
And he always, he never get the chocolate milkshake. He always get vanilla. And then be letting the vanilla milkshake run down his face. Why did he always get the vanilla milkshake and then letting the vanilla milkshake run down his mouth sitting in front of you, Gabriel? So you should have saw the signs. <laughs> yeah, you know man, this is pure survival at this point. And salute to everybody in the building and like and subscribe. You know what I mean? Because we party over this motherfucker. We don't give a fuck about no hateration, no holleration in this dancery, goddammit. That's why I told y'all, don't pay no mind. If motherfucker say something stupid in the comments, don't pay that shit no mind. I don't give a fuck. Surviving the fact that I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this is pure survival. All comments is good comments to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Plus, I be cracking the fuck up laughing. I think it's funny as shit. You know what I mean? I'm one of the motherfuckers that's very outgoing, goddammit. I have a great personality. I think everything's funny. I'm not on state parole. I'm not on probation, goddammit. I'm not in nobody's state penitentiary. I have been before. I have been before. But motherfucker, I am free, goddammit. This is pure survival at this point. So I love my goddamn life. You know what I mean? People talk stupid to me. I, Rihanna come in my motherfucking head. I be like, so live your life. Hey, hey, hey. you're steady chasing that paper. Live your life. Hey, hey, hey. you're steady talking to haters. <laughs> you know what I mean? No matter what the haters say, know them till they fade away. <laughs> what did T.I. say? He said, it's safe to say that I, may, I paved the way for you cats to get paid today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit be YouTube would be dry as a motherfucker if I didn't come save today. This is pure survival at this point. But as I said before, Dwayne Wade has been screaming and yelling and fighting to come out. And I'm not mad at him. So, Gabrielle, if you are filing for divorce, if you're really going to go through this woman, go through with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this man is going to give a fuck. And there's other rear rims that you can go and eat, Gabrielle. There's other butts that you can eat out there. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said I'm supporting the man. If you are grown, you're grown. That's what you want to do. Only thing I said I had a problem with was kids making that decision. And the fact that Dwayne allowed his kid to do that, I feel like he was trying to live his life through Zaya. Now he doesn't have to do that no more. Now he can be free. He can fly in the air. You know what I'm saying? He can go to P. Diddy's house without the garlic on his neck. He can go to Diddy Glover's house without the garlic on his neck. This is pure survival at this point. Y'all want a motherfucker to be faking like out this motherfucker. You know how many dudes in state prison that be sitting around like trying to pretend like, like they not, and they be like some of the most fruitiest motherfuckers. I'm talking about gangster niggas. You know what I mean? Talking about, yeah, come on, be in my cell. I want you to be in my cell. I don't want to be in the cell with you, motherfucker. You trying to wait till I go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So you could be trying to look me up and down and shit. And this motherfucker talking about, let me lick you up and down till you call the guards. <laughs> let me do all the things you want me to do. <laughs> this is pure survival. And then they'll come home from prison and kiss a, a woman on the mouth. Mm. Like they wasn't doing what they was doing up this motherfucker. This is pure survival at this point. That's why I said, like, live your truth. I don't care. This is a whole new world today. A whole new world. A whole new... I forget the motherfucker where I was singing that from. You know what I'm saying? So if Dwayne wanted to be free, let the man free. He's been trying to fucking come out all this fucking time. At least we don't got to sit there and try to think like, AK, hey, his nails is pink. His nails is... Toes is done. I mean, all right, he is. He is what he is. And I feel like Gabrielle knew it, and I think she just mad because he want to go full-blown woman. He want to go full-blown woman, so now she jealous because if he get rid of the pecker, then she can't get none of the pecker. You know what I mean? So what, Gabrielle, why don't you just eat his vagina then? If he get a new vagina, won't you just eat his vagina? <laughs> It's like, no, let me stop. Let me stop. Like I said, I don't got nothing against nobody. Especially, like I said, if you're a grown adult, be who you are. You know what I mean? Like, it, you know, that got to be probably overwhelming to, to sit there and fake it. Like motherfuckers that pretend that they got all this money. I'll be like, how do you feel comfortable lying to this girl? Tell me, you, you got this kind of car and you getting all this money when I know that you're broke for real, for real. 
You don't have money like that. Females are like you better if you just be yourself. God damn it. You know how many times I came to YouTube letting motherfuckers know I was on welfare. I came to YouTube to help me get off of welfare. Surviving the fact that I came to YouTube to help me get off of welfare. <laughs> this is pure survival at this point. And I wasn't all the way on welfare, God damn it. I was halfway on welfare. I didn't get cash assistance, but I did get food stamps. I didn't get cash assistance, but I did get food stamps and medical. <laughs> this is pure survival at this point. So I was halfway on welfare, and I came in and I was honest. Name another nigga hot, I'm just being honest. You know what I'm talking about? Pure survival. And the ladies screamed. They loved it. Oh, my God. This is a sensation right here. I love this motherfucker. He funny and he's a real nigga. You know, you know what I mean? Live your truth. You don't have to be. That's why I, I'll never glorify prison like it's a cool place to be because it's not. But I'll never be ashamed of the fact that I've been there before. Because it's not where you've been. It's where you're trying to go. You know what I'm talking about? And what you learned from that lesson. You understand me? So I'm never embarrassed to tell motherfuckers, yeah, I was in three different state penitentiaries, three different state jails. You can look up Jamil Peterson and you will see it. <laughs> no problem. I'm not ashamed of it. But I ain't been in prison since 2018, goddammit. Ain't been in no trouble, ain't on no state parole, ain't on none of that shit. So I've seen everything. I feel like God had me in prison so I can look at the funny shit and I can let young people know you don't want to be there. You don't want to be there. It's nothing handsome about being in jail. It's a bunch of motherfucking liars, you know what I mean? And then people that's home that's not even writing them or putting money on their books trying to go up posting, talking about, yeah, my homeboy, he upstate and he riding. No, he ain't riding. Your man is up there about to take a sheet and jump off the fucking tier. This is pure survival. Your man is in state prison about to hang it up like a Jordan jersey. He is not running around like a gladiator stabbing up nothing. That's a whole lie. He's quiet as a mouse. You know what I mean? It's nothing handsome about that. So I use that in my comedy and use what I've really been through and share it and let young people know. No, go the right way, goddammit. It's too many ways to make money. Too many ways to become successful. We got the goddamn internet right now. We ain't had that shit back in the day. We had beepers and flip phones and shit like that. Motherfucking, uh, blah, blah, uh, what is it? I used, I, I had a uh, Blackberry. I couldn't even call it no more. I'm uh, Blackberries, when you just got the little ball and shit in the motherfucking middle. Y'all got, we got technology, goddammit. <laughs> technology make you a bad motherfucker. Everybody on YouTube feel like they some kind of star. <laughs> Everybody, even motherfuckers that ain't got talent, be thinking that they got, that they, they a star in this motherfucker. <laughs> this is pure survival. You know what I mean? But people can see through the realness. People can tell who really got talent and who really don't. Who just really up this motherfucker just talking and talentless like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? So that's why when I know motherfuckers listen to me, they can see my goddamn halo. They can see my halo on this motherfucker. This is pure survival at this point. You know what I mean? But like I said, I want to say shout out to the LBG community. Shout out to everybody that's on my live. Shout out to all human beings, black, white, Chinese. I got to say all of this, guys, so people know that I'm not bashing nobody. I'm not against nobody. You know what I mean? But I'm just telling it like it is. Gabrielle Union, you knew what type of time Dwayne Wade was on. You know what I'm talking about? You know what kind of dude he was. So all of this crying, oh, I'm getting divorced just in case you don't file. You know what I mean? Because allegedly you're supposed to have filed today. But if you don't, I'm just telling you, if you're crying about it, you knew about it. Every woman that's with a man know what type motherfucker dude that they got. It don't matter how much he pretend around his homies or pretend on the street around other people. You know that this nigga cry watching Lifetime movies. He cries watching Lifetime movies. This nigga lays up with a teddy bear with his thumb in his mouth at night. This is pure survival. You know what I'm saying? But he go around in the street and pretend that he this super macho, killer magilla, tough ass motherfucker. You know what I mean? But you know the softness that's in this dude. Everybody knows it. Just like a man know what kind of woman he got. You know what I'm saying? So you already knew. You supported the whole thing. You see he was trying to live out his fantasies. Trying to live out his fantasies through Zaya. Gabriel! Surviving the fact that Dwayne was trying to live out his fantasies through Zaya. And you knew about it. So I don't feel bad for you guys. I mean, Gabriel. But if you're new to the channel, baby, <laughs> like and subscribe. Because this is what we do over here. We survive, we laugh, we joke, we struggle, we meditate together. And I love you all.
And this was another epic, wonderful episode of Surviving Gabrielle Union. Surviving Gabrielle Union! <laughs>